Hey guys, Mwah. so I hope everybody's good today. I was feeling like, you know, a little some of my hair. So I did a little some of my hair, thought I'd be a little bit fancy with it and whatever. I'm trying to like get into more like doing my hair different ways and stuff. And like, I wanted to go for like, you know, like if I was in euphoria, like what would I look like? And you know, like I'm so extra when it comes to my hair and like doing my edges and stuff. I got some little hearts and whatever. And like in my friend group, I'm the really, really extra one. So I just know that like, if I was on Euphoria or something, like I'd be hella extra. So yeah, if you're not watching Euphoria, you probably have no idea what I'm going on about. But yeah, if you don't watch it, like you should watch it because it's really good. <laughs> but yeah, from the title, obviously, you know what one, like you know what's happening right now is that I have loads of bits from Bite Beauty to try. Now I have not seen any publicization or whatever the hell that word is. Like I've not seen anything about the fact that you can get bite beauty here in the uk like i've seen zilch grease nos nada like i've seen nothing wow did i just talk sims i've not played sims in a long time um yeah nothing like and i literally like discovered it on the biggest random thing ever like i was actually going through like my emails and there's a boots email about like sales like christmas sales and um clicked on it and like was going through it and i saw this on it and i was like bite beauty what because like i remember like when boots got beauty bakery they started off with like one or two like little things they started off with like a little set and stuff so i was like oh maybe that was it and so i clicked and they literally have loads of stuff they have loads of stuff from bite beauty and it's just not been advertised sent out to any influencers nothing like i'm an affiliate for boots so like i have like affiliate links for boots website and even like affiliates we've not been sent anything or anything so i'm just like bruh so you know you guys know that i had to order loads of stuff to try because like i feel like i'm always hearing american influencers harp on about agave lip scrub this agave lip scrub that and like how good their lipsticks are and how good the foundation is so i've literally ordered not one of everything they had on the website because some of it was quite like repetitive like i'm not going to order like five different like finishes of lipsticks when i can only wear one and stuff like that but i did really try my best to get everything else so yeah without further ado let's just get straight into this material girl okay so like as you can see this is like boots.com they literally like a full on like have bite beauty they literally like the fuck like and I'm just, I'm just baffled like I'm actually just baffled like that there's just been no advertising no nothing for any of it so I'm gonna start with the very very famous and acclaimed agave lip scrub I've heard people like Kathleen Lights harp on about this for literally years and years and years um and if you don't know I do believe that um oh words um that bite beauty is a clean like a vegan brand um and i know that clean makeup is becoming quite popular these days so this is actually really really big but i think it's got like quite like a deep um component here oh my god look at that it comes with like a little scoopity doop doop a little scooper for it and a little protective seal let me just like read you the blurb for this product <clears throat> okay so <coughs> clear my throat on whatever a clean three-in-one lip scrub made with agave nectar and fair trade organic golden sugar to cleanse exfoliate and condition for smooth soft lips this game-changing three-in-one scrub cleanses exfoliates and conditions for smoother softer more kissable lips fair trade organic golden sugar exfoliates while papaya enzymes help lift away flakes and made with sugarcane derivative squalene lips feel conditioned to okay so yeah suitable for all skin types yeah so 
go off so this is just yeah cruelty free sulfate free paraben free so it's got like none of that like bullshit in there basically like it's just got like some really really good natural ingredients so i'm just oh my god gonna attempt oh my god i can't get that off i'm gonna try and like use like that little this little thing to get it off it's like suctioned on there oh so it's really liquidy like for a lip scrub i don't think i've ever seen a lip scrub be quite that like liquidy so i did have a lip balm on but i've taken it off and i'm just gonna like kind of like dampen my lips and i'm actually just gonna take some that i've got here on this lid and oh my god that mm, does not feel like any lip scrub i've ever used it she was like a lip balm with like chunks in it It's like very, very nourishing. It feels like a really like thick, nice lip balm. Mm, smells nice too. I can definitely feel like the little particles like scrubbing away at my lips. I'm pretty good at looking after my lips. I do like use lip scrubs all the time. So they're not gonna be that flaky or anything, but. Oh, mm. <laughs> that is a really really nice product wow it's definitely like the components are bigger than it needs to be it's definitely not got like as much product as like how big this is it could definitely be smaller but like wow like that's really really nice on the lips let me see how, how much is, was this one so this one's 22 pound so i'd say that's probably on par with like more higher end lip scrubs 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 like the ones from fresh beauty that are really really good i would say that's kind of on level with that mm. i'm like <laughs> it off my lips and they kind of like have the texture of like little sugar granules that like, they actually like crunch like when i crunch them mm. Mm. definitely more kissable like wow like look at that shine that, that leaves like my lips feel like so conditioned and so moisturized they feel so so good like this is really really nice um i can definitely see like why it's so hyped up in america like why everyone's obsessed with it so next i have a primer now i do believe it was three different types of primer they have let me just check so no it's actually two different types of primer so they have a primer for normal to dry or normal to oily and i have normal to oily skin so that's the one i got it just comes in a little carton and i'm just gonna open her up and it literally looks like this i do like their aesthetic of packaging like it's nice and simple and like it's really clean which obviously goes really really well with the clean beauty aesthetic also it's got like a little little metal stopper i'm just gonna peel that off i'm like obsessed with sniffing stuff i always sniff stuff but i think it really smells of anything so on the website it says choose your primer based on your skin type hydrate with the lightweight primer for normal to dry skin or mattify control shine and blur the look of pores with the silky smooth oil free primer for normal to oily skin okay so i'm not gonna put like my wet and wild like pore filler that i normally put on i am literally just gonna go straight in with this and um no it just kind of it just has like a natural scent like it's not been perfumed it just kind of like smells like whatever's in it and it feels nice on the skin so i'm just gonna concentrate it in the areas that i get oily and that i need like pore blurring Yeah, I feel like that sinks into the skin really really nicely like it doesn't feel like it's like sitting on top of my skin it definitely like dries down which is probably because it is oil free so I think like the real test of this one is obviously going to be like we'll put the foundation on put powder on and everything and then like see what the situation is but so far it seems really really nice okay and then we have the foundation when this came out i feel like every like american influencer was talking about this um it comes in like the same kind of like box as the primer did but it does have the shade that i chose on the top i did shade match myself online like i just fucking went for it i was like you know what that looks like my shade <laughs> Let's 
go for it and let's pray for the best but it does look like i did a pretty good job i normally i normally do a good job like i'm not gonna lie i normally do do a good job i don't think i think only once has a foundation come that i've just like you know gone for it online and it's not been a good match for me so you know she's she's a professional and whatever so the foundation has a really really good like range i will show you the picture there so it pretty much goes from like the fairest of the fair to the darkest um which obviously is really really good and it has like a few different like undertones we have neutral warm and cool um and then the claims are this product no <laughs> i'm just making up my <laughs> up now this creamy lightweight foundation comes in 32 inclusive shades that blend out smoothly giving you durable lightweight to medium coverage that lasts all day supercharged with clean ingredients it was made to look and feel good on all skin types even sensitive and it contains this one percent synthetic fragrance that's good because like i really hate like really heavily fragrance foundations i feel like it's really really unnecessary so obviously it's light to medium coverage, which is fine with me. I have pretty good skin. I do have like some hormonal acne still going on, but like it is fading. I don't know what the hell this, this decided to come play. I didn't invite it and it needs to go away. Um, but it's good that it's got buildable coverage. Um, obviously if you're someone with acne or something like this might not be your cup of tea, but like I'm going to be fine with it hopefully. So let's go get a sponge and put some on okay so i just pinned my hair back as well i'm here just saying my lips feel sensational right now they feel so good so again it just has a little metal stopper on it and i'm literally just gonna it's like a squeezy tube i can't remember the last time i used a foundation that was in a squeezy tube and wasn't a pump so i'm just gonna pump some onto the back of my hand it's already looking like it's a good match for me like my hands are just a completely different color from the rest of me like i have such light hands so i'm just gonna take my marshmallow sponge from coco cosmetics by clo and just start beating that on okay wow like i feel like this is probably the best shade match i've ever done like it's literally the same as like my neck which is good because my face just has so much color in it and everything and it's just a really nice like neutral shade i feel like when it comes to like my color and my tone like quite often like foundations are really really warm and like you know what? i just i don't want to like be warm i'm not warm like i'm an olive gal like i'm a green yellow kind of gal you know so i think that's a really nice shade and i would definitely say like yeah like definitely like more medium coverage um but i could definitely see how it could be buildable as well like it just like really smooths in nice and i would say like the like the words that come to mind when i'm looking at this on my skin in the mirror is my skin but better like that's the vibe it's giving me like you can still see like loads of my freckles on my forehead like all of them on my nose like my beauty spots like on my cheek and everything like it really has just like i feel like balanced my skin tone and giving me like a slight bit of coverage like i feel like you can't really see like any of my hormonal acne even this like isn't as red as it was or as noticeable so i would say that's definitely like so far like so far she's she's doing real good like she's doing really 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 good like how much is the foundation let me look so yeah 36 i'm oh, sorry 38 pounds for the foundation which you know like that is like on par with lots of other brands like that are like say like you know like the more like higher end brands not like the really like luxury brands but the more higher end like estee lauder and things are like that um and anyway i wouldn't expect a clean beauty brands to be really really cheap because obviously they're like using good products and good products tend to be more expensive so like i wouldn't expect like really really low end prices but you know 36 pounds for a foundation is still pretty good i've definitely paid more for a foundation so so I am just going to go and put on the rest of my cream products. So concealer, cream contour and cream blush. Oh no, 
Oh no, because we have a cream blush. So I'm just gonna go put on concealer and cream contour and we'll be back for some cream blush. Okay, that's all done. <clears throat> and next we have the liquid blush. So this one comes in one, two, three, four different shades. Now this is expensive. <laughs> like this is 30 pound for one cream blush. Girl, she's a bit spenny, you know. And I do believe that they all have shimmer in them. Mm. This is one of those ones that are like I bought this for you guys, like because me personally, it's not something I would go for like a 30 pound for like, and this is like only this bit will be filled with product. Mm. I was kind of a bit like mm -hmm, girl, really. So it says, so oh, oh sorry, I got the shade Daycation, which is like a pinky kind of shade. It says infused with papaya ash extract. This whipped blush gives you a healthy and natural looking finish that's non cakey and lasts all day. This lightweight fade resistant formula enhances cheeks with adorable flush of colour that feels refreshing on skin. Plus it can also be worn on your eyelids. So it doubles up as a eyeshadow which yeah I'll skin whatever so it literally just like spins off you don't have to peel the sticker off or anything and it comes like that which is like to me is a really really odd so I'm literally just gonna squeeze some out on my hand and oh that's a lot more like natural than I thought it would be it's definitely like a whipped kind of texture um so yeah let's just pop some on and see if she's actually worth the amount of money that you know I spent on her because I highly doubt that she <laughs> is. So I'm literally just gonna dip the brush that I always use for cream blush. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, I feel like the colors as well, they were all like very natural kind of colors. And now I'm just thinking, is this even gonna show up on my skin? Like I got one of the ones that was more like in the middle, like shade wise, because the other ones looked like they were gonna be too dark for me. Um, I feel like that's giving me like a slight blush of color but it's very very natural oh sorry the shade i got was watermelon mark it wasn't whatever the freaking hell i said it wasn't vacation i don't know why it says vacation on it as well but it says that as well that's weird how odd that it has like two names on it but yeah like i don't know like so like the hibiscus slush one just i felt like it was going to be too dark for me and the other two i just feel like were a bit too like neutral like they just weren't gonna show up on me so let me just use a little bit more of this i feel like this is just like one of those like super natural kind of things and like you know i like blush like i like full on heavy duty like blush it definitely has a sheen to it i thought it would be more sparkly which is good because like i didn't want a sparkle but it is giving like super super natural vibes which if that's your thing then go off for sis but yeah i like a bit more of like a punch with a blush like it is nice like but yeah it's just like she could be doing more you know i would probably say skip that one personally like it's not something by the looks of it that i would like recommend to anyone or anything like you know like it's not doing a lot like my made by mitchell blush is like a fraction of that price and like does way more and same with even like i love the nars um cream blushes and it, like that's probably around the same kind of price point like i think a little bit cheaper it's like 20 something pound for the nars one and like does way more so yeah i think your money on that one is better off spent as for us <laughs> So next we have the Bite Beauty Change Makeup Powder. So this is a coverage press powder. So it just comes in a little box and then in there is the component and it comes with a little powder puff that has Bite Beauty on it, which is super cute. You know, I love, I love using a powder puff. So I'm definitely gonna use the powder puff as well with the foundation. Well, not the foundation. My brain's just not working. So I got light two, which is this kind of shade. I kind of tried to go off like what color my Charlotte Tilbury powder was because 
that was like the kind of vibe I was getting from this. They only had like a few shades. So like, you know, I thought that was the kind of vibe we were going for. Um, Cause they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades. Um, and here it says, clean beauty can be high performance too. The proof is in the powder. This long wearing super lightweight powder lets you boost your coverage for a silky soft matte finish that melts with your skin. That's because it's made with antioxidant rich superfood, macu berry and finely milled volcanic minerals. Not plain old tack, ta oh, not plain old tack to blur, control shine and mattify. So, you know, supposed to control shine. She's supposed to mattify and whatever. So let's give her a go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my under eye with it. And I'm gonna set my whole face with it. But with my under eye, I'm gonna go in with a wet sponge and just get up on in there and get it all over my sponge. And yeah, I'm just gonna set my under eye with that. So, so far that's really, really nice. Like I would say it's nice. It's like, it's lightweight, not too heavy, not too cakey. Definitely blurs on the skin, I would say as well. Like it looks really, really nice. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little powder puff, wiggle that in there and just start pressing that in. like a little powdered dumpling <laughs> but no that definitely has like quite a lot of coverage to it like i'm really really impressed with that like it 100 has a good amount of coverage to it and i'm just gonna grab a brush and just dust the excess off just like that but no like i feel like my skin looks super flawless obviously like we're not done yet i still have a few more bits that like i do to my skin but like wow like looking really really flawless looking really airbrushed and everything like it's just yeah it's just giving me like my skin kind of vibes if that makes sense but yeah i'm gonna finish the rest of my face makeup and i'll be back for some lips and eyes okay so there is everything else done like i feel like i look flawless i look fresh like i'm digging it like so far like i really really like how it looks i feel like i have a lot of makeup on but it looks really natural like it doesn't look like it's too much <clears throat> like it's giving me that kind of vibe so next i'm gonna do my eyes so i got the mini eyeliner and the mini mascara in like a little two pack so because like honestly like i don't need <laughs> any more mascaras i have so many in my house and stuff so when i saw like because i was gonna buy the full size of each and when i saw that there was minis i was like mm, might as well go get minis so you all know that i'm a black liner kind of girl i love me a black liner oh i've not used one of these in a long time like a little felt tip like the ones that mitchell has um like the made by mitchell graph inks that's what like that kind of vibe is giving me so let's have a read and see what it says about this eyeliner so this is the beauty upswing extreme long wear liquid eyeliner infused with passion flower this ultra pigmented and super precise liquid eyeliner lets you line the way you want without worrying about smudging transferring or flaking that's some bold claims girl plus the dip format gives you solid jet black color pale in a clean formula that applies effortlessly and doesn't fade girl if it says what it does on the tin then we might have a new fave liner you know like that, those were some bold statements so yeah the proofs in the pudding let's test her out and see what she's like
okay so <clears throat> that wasn't the easiest wing that i've ever drawn i would say but it's not terrible like i wouldn't say like it's anything revolutionary like i do prefer like obviously like i'm comparing to what's most like this product i do prefer um the made by mitchell one a little bit i'm not gonna lie to you um it's just like i don't know like i feel like it's not black black like it's black but it could definitely be more black and i don't know it's kind of like separatey like i don't know how to describe it like i don't know it's quite matte which is good like i was really worried that it was going to be like really really shiny but it's not bad at all um but yeah i just wouldn't say it's life-changing really like there's much like other products that are far better but like i guess if like you're getting into the whole clean beauty thing and it's something that you wanted to try out then go for it like because it's not bad like it's not bad it's just not my favorite i would say okay and then we have the mascara the little mascara is so cute let me just get up what it says about the mascara so this is the bite beauty upswing full volume mascara powered by vegan tree berry wax this intense black mascara gives lashes an instant and buildable boost that's lightweight and smudge resistant and with its full bodied hourglass shape brush it brings out the best in every lash for double take worthy definition and lift where you want it so obviously it's supposed to be a volumizing mascara it has like the classic volumizing brush so let's go there we go i say yeah it's definitely nice it does what it says on the tin i could definitely see how it's like volumizing and everything i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not really that big into mascara or anything but like it's nice like for me it's more like what it makes my bottom lashes look like my bottom lashes look really really nice um yeah it's cute it's a vibe like it's not again not life-changing but like it is really nice my bottom lashes look really nice for me like mascara is more about like if it transfers um which i guess by the end we will see if it has a little bit or not so fingers crossed so i'm just gonna do the other eye pop some lashes and probably put some like shimmer on my eye or something and i will be right back okay so that's all done i just went for like a little bit of a blue stripe in the middle of my liner there and I popped some lashes and stuff on and i'm feeling the vibe and of course put some blue highlight on because you know always blue whatever one well, of my hair lips just broke so i'm teeing up my glue gun now to fix it because she's a crafty queen but we have our final thing to do now which is lips so i have three lip products they do do like different like lipsticks like i just got like one of the bullet lipsticks because i feel like that's what they are really really known for is their bullet lipsticks but they do like you know like um like lip tints and like loads and loads of different stuff like that so these are the power move soft matte lipsticks and this creamy non-drying lipstick made with Tapuka pearls mixed with fatty acid waxes features a velvety matte finish that looks and feels good on the lips and the feather and fade resistant formula which comes in 20 cray worthy shades glides on easily for instant no fuss bolt color and I got the shade sesame but I've just remembered what I did get as well I actually got a lip primer so lip and define lip primer just comes in a little box like this and she just looks like this like she basically just looks like a little pen let me find the bloob about this one so beauty vegan lip and define lip primer feathering fading not here keep your lip color in line with this multitasking lip primer as a universal lip liner it creates an invisible barrier on the lip line so your color stays with 
within bounds as a lip primer it grips your lip color to help improve and extend wear i don't think i've ever worn a lip primer before so this should be interesting it's like pointed which is weird but yeah i'm literally just gonna like put it all over my lips basically um i thought it would be like balmy but it's actually not it's actually like really like tough that's like not what i was expecting like at all like i thought it was going to be like basically like a glorified lip balm but it's definitely not like it's definitely got some grip to it it almost feels like tingly like it's a lip plumper or something like I swear I can feel like a little tingle. Oh my god, how cute are the lipsticks? Like, I love that bullet. That's really, really cool and really, really different. So, this is what she looks like. She's kind of like a pinky kind of vibe. So, I am going to go and put on a lip liner and then I will be right back. Oh my god, I have never, ever, ever had lip liner go on so easy before like what the fuck like i don't know what kind of juju this is and i've never used a lip primer before but obviously i've been missing out and i need to be using a lip primer because wow what the fuck like my lip liner went on so easily normally like my lips are so hard to line and i'm going Ooh, everywhere but that was so easy oh my god so i'm just gonna go in with the lipstick i feel like bite beauty is known for their lip products so and i feel like that's what's been like 10 out of 10 so far like has been all the lip products like the face products have been good the only thing that i've not really liked is the blush i would say so you know oh this color is so nice mm. oh my god that really is like a powder matte finish <gasps> no Oh my god, look at that. That looks so nice. I'm obsessed. Oh my god, that lip colour. She is the moment. Like wow, that's so fucking nice. This lip this lip primer. This 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 okay everyone needs this everyone needs out of everything everyone needs this this is so good like i feel like that has elevated my lip game and like that's now going to be like a staple in every single makeup routine so next we have the yaseya plumping lip gloss i got the shade cider donut i thought this kind of shade was gonna go best with the lipstick that we got so let's bust her out so she looks like this oh like i just was obsessed with like the gold glitter in her and everything and she just has like the little dip like the lipstick does and it's like a twisty oh i thought this was going to be soft but it's actually hard and then you twist it and um six and a half hours later Hey, they're all fucking all, all start coming out then. And then it comes out just like that. And I'm just gonna whack it on. I'm just too excited. I will read the <laughs> the blurb to you after I put it on. But oh fuck me. <gasps> the glitter in this. Holy fucking shit balls. It smells so good as well. Fuck. <gasps> didn't are you dumb oh my god this lip she's giving she is freaking giving oh my god and obviously it has that so like you don't waste any of it like you get every single bit of lip product out there but no guys like this is the finished look like 
she is the moment let me get up about the lip gloss and read it out to you wise so there are eight shades of the lip gloss and it's the beauty yesaya plumping lip gloss so it's a plumping lip gloss clean pumping powered by superfoods this innovative cinnamon flavor i was wondering what that was i was like why does this taste so good like why am i getting apple pie vibes but that's because it's got cinnamon um lip gloss delivers pumping looking lips with a mild not wild tingle the super slick smooth tip allows for nourishing comfortable formula to glide on effortlessly and the crave worthy range of shades from subtle shears to bold pops shine on their way or a glossy topper listen like i thought the applicator would be like really stiff when i was gliding on but it glided on so nicely like my lips look fucking insane they look so nice like i feel like my complexion looks so nice especially like seeing as i didn't really use like like my core products the products that like i love to use again and again and again for my flawless base well, let me put my hair down then oh, i'm freaking off okay there we go like oh i love this on my lips oh my god but no yeah i feel like my skin looks really really good like i'm really really happy with how my makeup looks like i really really like it i'm feeling myself right now so my favorite things were definitely like the lip primer the lipstick's really really nice like even without the gloss like i was my lips were 10 out of 10 that gloss is really really nice and i would say foundation's really nice but like i feel like my top fave fave faves like if i had to pick three things would be the lip primer um the lip gloss and the lip scrub like Mm, they're a they are essentially a lip brand so i'm not surprised that like my favorites are the lip stuff and then i would say like in like the second round is the foundation the lipstick and the powder um the mascara just you know like it's okay like it's not doing anything magical like it's more like i will have to see if it transfers it's not transferred yet so far which is a good sign and if it doesn't transfer then it could easily like become my fave so that's just one that we will like have to wait and see on um yeah this just she just wasn't giving what she needed to give like save your coins go buy something much better same with the eyeliner it wasn't terrible but like i wouldn't buy it again like i wouldn't recommend it there are just better things on the market so, so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you love this look because i am literally obsessed with myself um but yeah like if there's any other brands that you would love for me to try like a full face of please let me know down in the comments this year i definitely want to do like a full face of like makeup by mario i want to do vive by jamie genevieve and stuff so let me know down in the comments below and i will try and make it happen for you guys but love you guys so so much and hope you're having a great dinner lunch brunch whatever it is wherever you are bye guys Really?